about running errands today, pulled through the parking lot at a truck stop and saw a Keystone Alpine. I got really excited because it looked like it had a front window, a front windshield. So I legit, is that what the kids say? I legit Googled Alpine floor plans while I'm there in the parking lot. And I find out that Alpine does make a front kitchen, which is my favorite. Um, and it looks like, I couldn't tell because it was on my phone, but it looks like the front kitchen has a front window. So I got excited thinking this was that trailer. So I pulled over to take a look at it and I realized that it wasn't. It was a front living which is nice and all, but now I'm like obsessed with this Alpine and I want to find somewhere to check it out in person. So there's a little tidbit of info for you there. When you're shopping for RVs, you can usually see the model number near the entry door on the trailer. So model numbers, they're going to be a combination of letters and numbers. Um, usually that number would give you some indication of the length of the trailer. So, like mine's a 248RK, you know, that's going to be like 24 feet. In actuality, the overall length of my trailer is 27 feet. Now, that's measured from the very tip of the hitch to the back of the bumper. So, don't get all caught up in thinking that the model number is the actual length because it's not so make sure that you get like the actual specifications you know for the trailer if you're trying to fit it in a garage or a carport or in a driveway or something like that the letters can sometimes indicate like fk front kitchen my favorite uh rk rear kitchen another solid choice BH will usually indicate some sort of bunk house with bunk beds, but here again, the letters don't always mean something significant. So look at the floor plan and focus on what you really want. Don't worry about what the letters and the numbers are.